Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to dive back into my bullet journaling for nurses series and talk to you a little bit about monthly logs. Last time we talked about future logs and that's kind of like the whole year, the whole scape of everything. Monthly logs are just for that month, just how it says. Now when I first started doing monthly logs, I just did a calendar and some little bit of bullet journaling challenges. This kind of kept me involved in my bullet journal every day and it was something I really enjoyed. So I'm gonna show you each of my journals how I went into my monthlies in each one and how they evolved. And then I'm gonna take you into my brand new bullet journal and show you how I made June because it is now June. Welcome to summer, it's really exciting. So I just wanna to talk to you about monthlies. Now this is my first bullet journal. As you can tell, it was on lined paper. So it was really hard to do a lot of like fancy things. So I just wrote out a calendar. And then what I did was I would cross out the days as they went like you would a normal calendar. I had different color coatings for everything, and I used my Zebra Mildliner pens, which you should check out in my pen hoard collection, and I used those to highlight everything. And then I just had some fun little stickers in my scrapbook collection to add to that. Now on the side, I had goals for every month. This one we were moving from Pennsylvania to Idaho, so I knew I needed to pack. I had a brain dump, so everything that I knew that needed to be done, but I didn't have a specific date that needed to happen, I put it there. Um, I had a weight tracker, tracked my weight, and also my macros tracker. So every week when I changed my macros, what it was going to be. So that was what the basic, basic is. And you can change this to however you want, and you'll see as I evolve through each one of my monthlies what happens. And then with each one, I also had different challenges. This is my favorite one. It is the Plan With Me Challenge. It's changed a couple hosts and they just relaunched it this month, so I'm adding it back in. And this was just an Instagram thing, so you could take a picture of each thing. So a daily, I would put a daily. First page, I put just post the first page, just something fun. Um, To-do lists, space savers, things like that. Uh, when I was over in Pennsylvania, I had multiple bank accounts, so I tried to put all my finances just on one page, and it was super helpful. I divided every line in half, and then just wrote um, deposit versus what I spent. A big thing in bullet journals is a lot of tracking. So this is my habit tracker. Again, this was a lined notebook, so what I did was I cut out a piece of graph paper and put that in, so I could have all of my different habits that I wanted to track with the dates. And then I tried to color them in. I don't know if you can really see. Um, try to do like a rainbow color. It ended up being really frustrating. So you'll see in like future months how I kind of changed that. And then this was my favorite challenge for a really long time. It was the six word challenge by Paige Flutterer. She doesn't do it anymore, which I'm really sad about. But she'd get little prompts and you do like a six word story. So it was just something to do. Like whenever I did my dailies at the end of the day for the next day, I would go in and do these challenges. So I would go in maybe on the 20th and it says childhood memory. So what's a six word story I can make with that? And I chose being a nerd with my dad. Six words, super easy, super fun. So it was kind of a way to hold myself accountable while also getting into my bullet. Now this is an example of a weekly spread and I'll get into that in my next episode. Now my first bullet journal pretty much stayed the same with the calendars and the trackers. It's when I moved over into this Leuchsturm um, B5 notebook that I had to change things up because this one, is a lot bigger than this one. So my calendars became really big. <laughs> um, as you can see, I actually had to use huge things and I didn't use them that much. My habit trackers shrunk significantly to only what I really wanted, so these four little items here. And I got really good at that. And then on this side was the goals and I'd put also the calendar for the next month just so to keep me in check. Moving through, you can see I kind of stuck to the same theme. Um, as you can tell, during September, I only put like four things in here, and I was like, what is the point of spending all of this space, and I'm really wasting it? So a few months later, say in November, I switched it up a little bit. Here's my wellness tracker. If you follow my Instagram, you know I use this wellness tracker so much. And then this is my November mini calendar. I call this my, like, monthly calendex. So each little dot had a corresponding color and then I put it down here what the events were. I didn't have a lot of events because I was working so much, so I really liked having it condensed and simple for me. In December, I tried to go back to the big spread because it is a holiday season, it's also my anniversary, all those fun things, still didn't use it that much. However, throughout all of these months, I kept up with my challenges. This was October's. I did my six word story challenge on this side it was super helpful that they had these in a printed option, so I would just print them off and glue them in, which is what I'm gonna do with my new one as well. Now, in my third bullet journal, I had to switch from a B5 to an A5. So this is a lot smaller, right? 
super small. So I knew I had to condense everything back down again. So when I started this journal, I decided, mm, not a really big fan of having those big monthly calendars or my monthly calendexes. So I started something that I call a line a day. And I would put on this side, the days of the week and then the numbers. So this is what a traditional monthly log looks like, but I didn't like to do the traditional monthly log because when am I ever traditional? And I would put in, you can see my color coding in there, different events. Now the blue that you see in the cursive, I'd put like a little line of something I did that day. So for example, um, January 18th, I know it's my husband's birthday, so it says Dylan's 24th fourth birthday. I also did my first cadaver dissection that day. Fun fact about me, I've dissected two cadavers completely. It's really fun, really nerdy. I love anatomy, hence why I'm a nurse. So this is super helpful for nurses to see your whole month schedule in advance and then you can also add in little things that you need to do. That's why I love the monthly so much because I can see it all so quickly. And then on this side, I made my habit trackers a lot bigger. As you can tell, I went back to just using one color. A lot easier than trying to do multiple colors. And again, I stuck with my six word story challenge and my plan with me challenges. I kept my wellness tracker and then I also added in my blog process along with my Instagram stories. This was before I was doing YouTube, so I, this is how I kind of organized everything. I do have a blog, check it out in the description below. It's called Bujo and Barbells, and so it's my bullet journal and all of my fitness stuff on there. I don't put my nursing things on there just yet because I'm still a baby nurse and I don't have a lot of stories quite yet. Now, a few months later, as towards getting towards the end of this journal, I did try to go back to my calendar and I called this one just events. So I'd have my line a day on this side and so instead of having the events written into these lines and kind of taking up space for little memories I wanted to remember, I put them over in the events. It was okay, like I, I think I might try it again, we'll, we'll see. I put in my six word story challenge here, obviously September was super busy because I had just started classes so I didn't keep up with it as much as I wanted to. You can kind of tell this is where I fell off the track. But this was one of my favorite little um, habit trackers I did. I did it as a chart, and so I only had three things I was tracking, mood, sleep, and diet, and I rated myself from a one to a 10, and then kind of just went off that. Um, sleep was super easy. I just did one to 10 hours of sleep and put that on there. I have a Fitbit that tracks how many hours of sleep I have, and if I have a nap, I also add that into this. And then mood, just kind of how I was feeling. I had a pretty bum day that, that time. This was before I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression. And so I hadn't been talking to a counselor. I was just kind of doing things by myself and my husband. And so now I'm in a much better healthy state of mind. It's awesome. Um, diet, you could tell I kind of fell off the bandwagon. Probably had a, like a burrito or a donut or something. And then just trying to keep it up. Um, I kept exercise and weight here. I tried to put little letters to tell me what I worked out. So it was like back, chest, legs, back, chest, legs, back, shoulders, I think. But I kind of forgot like what the letters meant. And so sometimes I would be doing it and I thought B was biceps and so I'd be doing back again and it was just not good. Um, I did start reading a lot of books that year. I try, I'm try. i trying to read a book a month at least right now. Um, it seems like I can read a book a week right now because I'm so bored. But I'd put the books in here with their chapters and just kind of tick them off as I go. This one I was reading The Game You Played and also Harry Potter. Do Chamber of Secrets, I am rereading the series. I'm on book four right now. I'm kind of excited to go through that again. And then I just had little day journal poems. I started like these little, rather than my like line, I had my line a day, but then I also made it a poem. So it was something creative that I could do every day. Now that is the beauty of monthly bullet journaling. You can add whatever you want to it. The nice thing about monthlies for nurses in particular is you can see your whole schedule. Most of the time, nurses are self-schedulers or you work directly with your manager to get your schedule out way ahead of time. You have it like all planned out. And so when you can just see everything in one spot and you can write in little things, then it's so much easier to plan family events or if you're a night shifter, like I need to sleep this day, I need to catch up this day, um, all those little things. It's so nice to see it laid out like that. Also, as a nurse, all those little challenges help you keep your creativity and kind of de-stress you. Compassion fatigue is a huge problem among nurses nowadays and we talk about it all the time and it just kind of gets ignored And so I think it's important that we find something that helps us remain ourselves and stay creative And one of those things is to just do something different We spend our whole day stressing out about other people when we really need to take care of ourselves So that's why I love these little stories when I get into my dailies I will tell you how I go, go around planning my day and how I sit down at the end of the night before to plan the next day. 
and that's when I do all my challenges. So you've seen my six word story challenge, my plan with me challenge, I did my poems there, um, I do a lettering challenge every now and then, and I try to mix it up every month. So it's super fun and it's super easy for nurses, and it gives you kind of like 15 minutes at the end of the day to really just chillax. The one thing that's also nice about monthlies, if you don't like to do weeklies, is you don't have to sit down, you only have to sit down once a month and really draw it out. Now I also have my Google Calendar, and so that keeps me in check with my husband and other people who are attached to my calendar. My bullet journal is just for me. So I like it because I can personalize it a lot more than I can any kind of Google Calendar. You can also change up what you like every month because sometimes when I'm going through my planner, like you know my Tools for Wisdom planner, which I absolutely love, I'll put a link in the description about it, and it, some months I'm like this, format really isn't working for me, and some months it really is, but when I have my bullet journal, it always works for me, and it's awesome. So, let's go ahead into my new bullet journal, and we're going to take a look at how June's gonna turn out. I am going with a pink and a blue color this month because birthstones is a pink birthstone. I don't remember what birthstone is, I just know it's pink, and blue is always just like a nice little contrast because it is so sunny. We have blue skies, we've had some massive summer thunderstorms, which I love summer thunderstorms. So let's go head out to my top down view and we're gonna check out my new bullet journal.
All right, thank you all so much for coming along with me as I plan out my month of June. Check in for the next episode where I talk about weeklies and I'll probably put dailies in there too and that will be the last episode of this bullet journal series for nurses. Leave a comment down below if you are a nurse who also is an addictive bullet journaler. I'd love to see any of your Instagrams or any of your pictures that you have of your bullet journal and your different monthlies because obviously I like to change it up so please give me some inspiration here. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel at lyrical.bujo if you like the bullet journaling stuff or you can check out Lyrical Fit Chick for all of my fitness, nursing, and lifestyle events. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!